Hi, my name is Pierre Gagné. When it comes to merger and acquisitions projects, some of them are very successful and they harvest the benefits that they expected from the beginning. Other projects don't have the same level of success. I see two key reasons. The first one is the project plan may not be as complete as what it should have been. Capabilities have been forgotten. Elements of comparisons may not have been completed properly. Second reason is that the project team may need skill sets that are not readily available in your organization. And Panorama 360 can help you on both those areas. It will help you quickly define the scope of the merger. It will ensure that all the capabilities in both organizations are being considered and none will be forgotten. It will produce the project plan to be managed. It will improve the comparison process between the two organizations so you make the right decisions. And it will help you assess the project delivery capability in your organization. Panorama 360 comes with a number of components. First, value chain, then capability maps, information structures, functional structures, process maps, and metrics are all included in Panorama 360. They will all help you build that end company once the merger is completed. When you merge companies, you have to align different areas, people, processes, technologies, and even products. Panorama 360 provides the enterprise framework with capability maps and information structures, process models, maturity assessment methodology, and product development methodology. To help you plan for the project, Panorama 360 offers you a number of areas that can help you with comparing capabilities, comparing the information, comparing the processes that exist within each one of those organizations and will help you define the end company once it's completed. The merger and acquisitions methodology is structured around the capability map. Each capability has a set of questions. There are 300 questions altogether. Once you've answered the 300 questions, it will define the scope of the project, what's included and what's excluded. It will consider all the capabilities of both organizations. It will help you develop the merger plan. And it will require a multidisciplinary team from business and IT to complete it. Panorama 360 has a project delivery maturity capability model and it will help you assess the capabilities in your organizations at developing and delivering large projects like this one and it will highlight the areas that will require attention to make it a successful project. When you merge organizations, you actually compare what they bring, both of them, and take the best of both. In order to do that, you'll need to map technologies to capabilities and compare them, mapping the processes to capabilities and also comparing them, and comparing the processes to the technology that is being brought by each company. Mapping the technology to the information what's the information contained in each one of those technologies, and also comparing the organization structures and the skill sets that they bring. By overlaying those four elements, you'll be making a proper decision as to what the end merge company will look like. From an organization, from an information, from a technology and from a process perspective. If you need to enhance products as a result of a merger project, Panorama 360 comes with a product development value chain, 
five stages are being described from opportunity to operations of those projects. Looking at the deliverables and making a plan out of those deliverables and showing the evolution of the deliverables throughout the project. And those 12 deliverables will help you build the project plan so you manage the enhancements or the development of new products. Panorama 360 will then be quickly defining the scope of that merger. It will help you ensure that all the capabilities of both organizations are being considered and none being forgotten. It will produce the project plan to be managed. It will improve the comparison process of the two organizations so you make the right decision as to what the end merge company will look like. And it will help you assess the project delivery capability of your organization. If you have any questions on this presentation or the course, go to Insurance Frameworks and I'll be more than happy to answer all of your questions. Thank you very much for listening.